Hey, hello. Here's Second Traffic with Wolf Gorlick, Humans Riffing and IT and IT Security. Today, looking at ransomware. Uh, live, live from a parking lot <laughs> at uh, Secure World Detroit. If you're at Secure World Detroit, come say hi. Um, if you would like, come to my session at about 1.15 today where I'll be talking about ransomware and, and digging into it. Um, but the tip for you is this. A lot of times, we drive our security decisions around um, news, right? Around um, what's newsworthy, what's explosive, what's exciting, it gains headlines, gains momentum. There's some good reasons for that. However, we need to also make sure that we're actually looking at things that uh, are realistic and are reasonable. Uh, so the tip for you is this, in spite of all the buzz and hype around ransomware, uh, including of course City of Atlanta, which has gained everyone's attention even months afterwards, um, in spite of all that, Ransomware seems to be on the decline. Statistics show that uh, anywhere from 40% to 60% of people being infected, depending on your antivirus, um, and that's where I'm getting these statistics from, is antivirus reports, uh, shows that, that much of a decrease year over year on ransomware. Kind of interesting. Another thing to think about is is keeping ransomware in perspective. Uh, cybercrime statistics show that uh, out of a three trillion dollar, you know, crime industry wave, uh, that's annual revenue in cybercrime, by the way, um, it's around five hundred billion or half trillion goes to intellectual property theft. Makes sense. Uh, guard your secrets. Guard your patents. Uh, another one hundred sixty thousand or one hundred sixty billion. 160 billion goes to um, stolen credit cards, stolen data, that sort of thing. So, half trillion for intellectual property, quarter trillion about for uh, stolen credit cards and personal data, ransomware, billion. It's not as big as we are led to believe with all the flashy news. Now, I'm not saying don't think about ransomware, patch your stuff. Back your stuff up. Patch your people. Awareness training, right? Uh, do those things. We're good. Yes. Do those things. However, with any type of these types of attacks, with any type of vulnerability, with any time someone's like, oh no, this so-and-so got hacked, you have to do some risk calculations and you need to be informed about the statistics. And this is really eye-opening when you think about how much budget is going towards protecting against ransomware compared to all the other threats that are out there. Kind of interesting. What do you think is... Uh, should be the priority. Um, where do you think organizations should be focusing on? Hit me up in comments. Social media. Cheers.